the lesson 9 in module 12 is proving lines parallel this is a very simple lesson with only one objective that is to apply angle relationship theorems to identify parallel lines and find missing values the keywords are parallel and angle relationships which we have already come across in the previous lessons in this lesson we will mainly focus on the converse of the formula theorems before we move on we need to identify parallel lines how they are now the railway track lines are always parallel to each other also the ruler if it's a proper ruler then these sides will always be parallel to each other over here we have converse theorems now you can see these are corresponding angles right we have learned about this in the previous lesson if two lines are cut by a transversal so that corresponding angles are congruent now this is corresponding to this if they are congruent and if this is congruent to this then these lines are parallel this is the transversal which is cutting then they are parallel because in the previous lesson we had learned if two lines are cut by a transversal if two lines are parallel and cut by a transversal then the corresponding angles are congruent now we are telling because they are congruent they are parallel it is like say for example uh, Hamid is studying well he will get good marks or Hamid is getting good marks because he is studying well because we can write the other way around now he is studying well study well so good marks okay now because he is getting good marks we can say that he is studying well it's like converse you know like that i hope this makes sense and you understand it's the other way around now let's look at this as well parallel postulate if a this is just a postulate it's not a converse over here if a given line has a point not on the line you can see this is a line and a point which is separate then there exists exactly one line through the point which is parallel you can draw only one line which is exactly parallel all the other lines if you draw like this like this they are not parallel exactly only one will be exactly parallel now another postulate says that alternate exterior angle converse now what it means is if at all you find and you can read this by yourself i'll explain you what it is now see over here the example one and five are congruent these are alternate exterior angles if we find these two angles are congruent then these two lines must be parallel in the last case in the last lesson we had learned if a and b are parallel and it's cut by a transversal then angle one and five will be congruent but here we start with this angle one and five are congruent then these lines are parallel that's the converse Similarly, we have consecutive interior angle, interior angle theorem. Uh, basically, interior angles are these angles which are inside 2 and 3 or 7 and 6. And they are always supplementary. That is what we had learned before. So now it says if the measure of two consecutive interior angles are 180 or supplementary, then these two lines are parallel. It is just like the postulates or theorems which had come in the last lesson, which we came across. Now, identifying parallel lines. Now, again, alternate interior angles. Now, we know this is interior and this is alternate interior angle. Or we have 7 and 3, which has alternate interior angle opposite. Now, if these both are congruent, then it states that the lines are parallel. Similarly, perpendicular also a uh, perpendicular transversal converse it says that if two lines are perpendicular to the same line now this is the transversal if the line is perpendicular like this then we must know that these two lines are parallel so this is what it states now let us solve some problems over here we have use the given information to determine which lines if any are parallel state the postulate and theorem that justifies your answer now they will give us some uh, questions like the angles which are congruent see so, now measure of two and eight they are congruent they have told that means which lines will be parallel will l and m be parallel or a and b 
Look carefully. These are interior angles of A and B. Alternate interior angles. So, 2 and 8 are alternate interior angles of line A and B. So, because angle 2 and angle 8 are congruent, A is parallel to B. So, this is through alternate interior angles converse. Alternate interior angle, we studied in the last lesson. Now, we are studying the converse and hence we are proving that A and B are parallel. These two straight line means they are parallel. Same way, 3 and 11. Now, 3 over here, 11. Now, you can see this is regarding with the line L and M and their corresponding angles. So, 3 and L. Uh, 3 and 11 are congruent that means L and M are parallel because they are converse of corresponding angles theorem. We have now 12 and 14. Let's see what is 12 over here and 14 is over here. They are alternate exterior angles of A and B. So because the measure of uh, angle 12 is congruent to angle 14, A and B lines are parallel by alternate exterior angles converse. So these are the answers. Now, over here there are options. You look into the options, think carefully and answer by yourself. Please pause the video now and answer. Read all the options and then answer. I hope you tried by pausing the video. Now we will solve it. Measure of angle 1 is over here. And what is the other angle? It's 15. So now... This is not exactly alternate exterior or interior. See now, if it's this and this fine, this and this fine, this is something this and over here. Do we have any relationship between them? In fact, we do not. It is not possible to determine whether the lines are parallel. But we, if at all we were given something else, yes, we can uh, find they are parallel because it would be alternate interior or exterior. Now, over here also, if it was this and this, this is interior angles, these are exterior angles. Or if you're talking about this, sorry, this is interior, these both, and these are exterior. But now we are dealing with this and this extreme end. We have no relationship between these both. So no, it is not possible for us to uh, tell what exactly they are. So, it is not possible to determine because we do not have enough information. Now, what about 3 and 5? 3, 5. Yes, we can easily solve them. Here are the options. Try to pause the video and solve it by yourself. I'm sure many of you might have come to the conclusion they are alternate because they are opposite angles and they are interior because they are inside and because of alternate interior converse. The line L and M are parallel. That's option A. The last problem now over here we have 3 and 10. Let's see where is angle 3 and over here is angle 10. It is 180 degree. What does 180 degree mean? It means it's supplementary. Yes, if that is supplementary, then it is consecutive or same side. Consecutive interior angles converse. So let us see. Consecutive interior angles converse. And which are the lines parallel? Which does it touch? N and K. So this is how we solve it. Very simple and easy problems. Please make sure you know the uh, theorems. You do not need to buy hard them. Look at the figure. Analyze which theorem it connects. And then you can easily solve these problems. Here we will solve problem using angle relationships. They have asked us in this question to find the value of y so that E and F are parallel. So this and this are parallel. Now you can see this line D over here. What is the relationship between D and E? As you can see over here, it is 90 degree perpendicular. If, we, if this is perpendicular and E and F are parallel, then we know this will be perpendicular even to the other line because these both are parallel lines. They are having same slope. So, now we can realize that even over here, it must be perpendicular. So, let us solve this now. By analyzing figure, we realize that these both are perpendicular over here as well. From the figure, line D is perpendicular to line E. Since E and F are parallel, D must be perpendicular to the line F. Now, if it is perpendicular over here, then everywhere it is 90 degrees. 
So what you can do is you can equate this to be 90 degrees. So 4y plus 10 is equal to 90 degrees. And now you can easily solve it. Take 10 to the other side. It will be 90 minus 10. That is 80. 4 div 80 divided by 4 will be 20. So y is 20. They have asked us to solve for y. And that is the answer. We will see one more problem over here. A real world problem. Two lines parallel. We have to prove whether they are parallel or not. Now, to move in a straight line with maximum efficiency, row is oars. Row, rowing is, you know, moving this oar uh, to go front in this board. Oars are these, you know, which is used to go ahead. So, the rows or should be parallel. If they are parallel, they, you can go with maximum efficiency. Say, so not this and this. This and this must be parallel, these lines, okay? Now, refer to the given picture. Is it possible to prove that any of the ores are parallel over here and justify the answer? Now, let us see. Over here, what is known? So, we know this is angle measure. This is 50 degree. So, what can we tell about the other angle? If this is 50 degrees, what is this angle? So, now, the angle forms a linear pair, right? Over here, you can see it's straight line. It will form a linear pair. So linear pair means it's supplementary. That, that means when you add these two angles, when you add the two angles, you must get what? 180 degrees. So how do we find this particular angle? Just subtract 50 from 180. So 180 minus 50 will give you 130 over here. Okay. So now over here it is 130. Let me write it over here. And the corresponding angle over here is how much? It is 124. Is it correspond? Are the corresponding angles congruent? No. See, in this case, the angle over here is 130 and over here it's 124. The corresponding angles are not congruent. So they are not parallel. If these two angles were congruent, only then they are parallel. So over here, it is, we, we can't prove that they are parallel. We have no clue about the other side. So we can just tell, we cannot prove they are congruent because from this corresponding angles, they are not congruent. So that is how we can prove. And that's it. This is a small lesson. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, you can anytime write in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Happy learning to you all.